All right, welcome back everybody to the program. It's John Pollock here with you. We are counting down to UFC 192. It's coming up Saturday night, October the 3rd. Very important light heavyweight fight that's going to be going down on the card. Rashad Evans makes his return to the octagon. He'll be taking on this man, Ryan Bader, who joins us on the line. Ryan, you're into your last week of hard training. Uh, how are you feeling thus far, just uh, about two weeks out from the fight at this point? Yeah, I feel great. You know, uh, most of our training is uh, behind us now, and this week is kind of we're lowering the volume. Um, you know, keeping the intensity up, but uh, uh, more shorter goes and, and getting in and out and feeling great and let the body kind of recuperate a little bit and be ready to peak on October 3rd. And uh, everything is great. I'm healthy, most importantly. Um, so going to this fight uninjured is always a, is always a great thing. And, and uh, I'm motivated and my, I'm in the right place mentally also. Is there an extra motivation for you? Because coming out of UFC 187, it seemed that it was guaranteed the fight was going to be you challenging Daniel Cormier for the light heavyweight title. Was that a tough pill to swallow for you when you found out that that you were going to be passed over for the next title fight? Yeah, no, it definitely was. Um, That really, just as as far as being kind of passed over and they have a fight and me not having a fight, you know, that, that... you know, as fighters, we kind of uh, we go fight to fight, and when you don't have one, it's kind of you're kind of in a no man zone where you're kind of thinking like, what am I doing, this and that. So, once I got the name and uh, you know found out I was fighting for shot, then everything went away. I felt I felt better, and, and uh, um, fighting a big name like that, you know, guy that's a former champ. If I wasn't fighting Cormier, Rashad was the next best thing, and so um, for me, I definitely got over that. I stopped thinking about DC moved on to Rashad going out there and getting that win and then uh you know I can I think about the the winner of uh DC and Gustafson you know get this five five win streak going and it with Rashad and five fifth title have you kind of just given up trying to look at the formula of of how a title challenger is going to be selected I mean some guys will look at how many wins in a row I have others quality of guys others how much interest I can put into a fight do you kind of just do you try to figure this out on your own or are you just going to go out there and you beat a Rashad Evans you're on the same card as the light heavyweight title fight that things should come into alignment for you with a victory after this fight hey yeah you know there's no really <laughs> Rhyme or reason, you know, how to pick the guys or whatnot, you know, for uh, um, really going into this Rashad fight, um, how it's been going, I can win or lose and still have a shot, you know? Yeah, that's uh, true. That's I, true. It was the last two guys going out there and losing and getting the title shot, you know? Um, but in all honesty, uh, who knows? So for me, just kind of keep your head down, go out there, um, get the task at hand done and then uh you know just keep racking them up and then what else can they do you know so but i think going out there having a name putting the name like rashad evans at the end of that you know five fight win streak would be a good formula you know for getting that title shot so you know outside of john jones coming back i don't see how me going out there winning impressively against rashad how anybody else could get the title shot is that kind of this lingering shadow over your weight class as John Jones? Because I feel as long as people look at John Jones and his occupation is still listed as fighter, it's always going to be that asterisk that is attached to this, this point. Is he out of sight, out of mind to you, or is he always going to be kind of looming over this division until he's ready to come back? Yeah, I think he'll always kind of be looming over. You know, you go out there win the belt. You know, there's still a guy that never lost that belt out there. You know, and so. Um, that's not our fault. You know, we, we sign the battle agreement. We go out there and fight. You know, you win the belt, you won that belt. You know, nothing else, you know, uh, you know, with that. Uh, but that being said, yeah, you know, there is a guy out there that hasn't lost his belt and has, has ran through everybody, you know. And so uh, um, there is a little asterisk on it. So, you know, I do believe he, he will come back and, you know, it can be settled then. Um, but, you know, there's nothing else we can do besides go out there and and fight our butts off and and get our job done. You know, your your year has obviously, I'm sure, been a trying one. You started it off with a victory all the way back in January, and then we're kind of awaiting that this title shot would come your way. Has this extended break, uh, what what have been the difficulties with that, and has that been a bit frustrating for you that that here we are going into October? It's been been nine months in between fights for yourself. Yeah, you know, it's... uh... Not only that, I've had uh, I've had fights scheduled, you know, and then pulled out. You know, I had the June fight with Cormier scheduled. You know, that got uh, got got pulled. You know, I thought maybe I would jump in and, and fight 
Anthony Johnson mm-hmm. in May, um, you know, and that got pulled, or your Cormier got pulled up for that. Um, then I thought maybe I would, I would fight Cormier for the title, you know, after he beat Johnson, and that didn't happen. And so I'm finally here with Rashad, um, you know, which is great. I finally have a fight. We're a week and a, you know, two weeks out, whatnot. Um, and it's finally here. So that's awesome, you know. So my year has been, been kind of, uh, um, Almost there, then a letdown. Almost there, and a letdown. So, for me, I'm just glad I got a fight, and it's you know a week and a half away, and just I'm ready. I feel great, and just ready to do it. You know, when the name Rashad Evans was presented to you, sure, on paper, th- this is a great fight for you, and especially with a victory that much closer uh, up the ranks. However, when you heard Rashad Evans, I mean, it's been close to two years since we've seen this guy. Was there that? sort of skepticism, is Rashad Evans going to make it to this fight? Was there any concern about that when you uh, signed on for this fight? There definitely was concern with that. Um, you know, uh, knowing how, you know, what it takes to get to a fight prepared and knowing what your body has to go through to get there in the best shape you need to be and in the shape you need to be to fight in an MMA fight, um, you know, there was definitely a concern if you're not making it. Coming off a um, let alone coming off of two uh, ACL surgeries and being off for two years, um, and really just going from rehab straight into a training camp. You know, it wasn't like he he had rehab and then he was, he was all healed up and then he got in shape and then he went to training camp. You know, he kind of did it all at once. So um, I didn't know if his body would hold up. You know, and you got to be able to you know put your body through through hell you know to to get to that fight in the best shape possible. And so. Um, you know, you know, with him, you know, he, he can't jump from zero to a hundred or else he's going to get hurt, you know? So, you know, he probably had to take some, you know, some things out and probably had to work his way in there. And then you're going into a fight wondering if you did enough to, to be prepared for that fight. So mentally you're kind of cloudy in that aspect. And, and, uh, um, if your body did hold up, hold up, you know, did you do enough? You know, so you know, that's on him though. I'm expecting the best for shot. Um, I've done my part. I'm going to show up on October 3rd. I've had a great training camp. I'm in shape. I'm ready to go. And uh, everything else is on him. Uh, this past weekend, uh, you, you shared this message online. Uh, your weekend got kicked off by a knock on the door at, at 6 a.m., I understand, on Saturday morning. And there is a rep from USADA who, who's ready to get a sample from, from Ryan Bader. Was this kind of the, uh, the, the confirmation for yourself, Ryan, that, you know, th- this drug testing, th- they're pretty serious about this coming at, at six in the morning, no less. Oh, yeah, on a Saturday, you know, and uh, I, at first I was pissed, you know, because they, they, my dog was going crazy. They woke up, I have three kids under three and a half, you know, they woke up the kids and all that. And, and uh, you know, someone was banging on my door like that at, at 6 a.m. I thought it was the, the cops or like a, <laughs> a hit squad coming to kill me or something like that. So <laughs> I was I didn't know what the hell was going on, but uh, answered the door. They, they said they're, you know, you saw it and all that, and then uh, um, let him in, peed in the cup, and, and got everything done. And, and uh, um, it, it was great. You know, at the end of the day, it's what we want is a clean sport and know that every semi cost that I got from you is, uh, is a clean tiger. And so um, it was good to see him doing, doing the rounds and actually actually going out there. I, I didn't think I would be uh, – be, uh, up that quick or anything like that when it actually happens to you, but it's good. Is it a fairly quick process or just in and out? It's, you know, in and out in 10 minutes or so, or is it a, a longer process yeah, than well, that? No, I mean, if, uh, if you go in there, and you pee in the cup and just fill out the paperwork. Uh, the problem is on that morning, I was going to, uh, for one of my sponsors, Saito Sport, I was going to sign at the Olympia you know, for a couple hours in and out real quick, and I had a flight leaving and so I had to I had to pee in the cup, get ready, do all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, within uh, a short amount of time, and and almost missed a flight. But you know, it is what it is. You know, we signed up for that, and uh, we want a clean sport, and this is what we got to do. Um, you know, so the whole thing, uh, I guess, it's not really random. It's like we kind of do the smell test. They said, so I'll take it as a compliment that they picked me. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, this is also going to be the first event at 192 uh, where they are eliminating the, the use of IVs after weigh-ins. Is that going to affect you at all? No, I just weighed myself right now. I'm 217. Um, I never, I never really. I, I think I did an IV one time. I never do IVs. My weight's always good, so that's always a non-issue for me. So that uh, that doesn't affect me whatsoever. 
And uh, before we wrap up here, I just want to get kind of an update of how things are going over over at Power MMA. I know you guys have had the addition of, of the likes of Michael Chandler, Miles Jury. It just seems a lot is going right at the gym right now with, with Aaron Simpson, the whole team there. Um, how is it with the new additions to the gym? And how do you guys strike that balance to make sure everyone's got their focus as your gym appears from the outside to be expanding and a lot of fighters wanting to come there? Yeah, no, we got all those guys are great. You know, uh, like you said, Chandler, Miles, Jerry, um, Johnny Case, um, you know, Justin Lawrence, all those guys, and, and uh, you know, it, it's been great. And uh, you know, they they bring that that mindset that we have. You know, that, that work hard, get that job done, and uh, you know, we we learn from them. They learn from us the whole time, the whole thing, and we we all just kind of mesh really well. And then uh, you know, for us, we want to. Um, keep growing this thing and, and you know and I think they when they came here they realized that we're a tight knit group and, and we care about each other the coaches care about you know each other you know Aaron Simpson ex UFC guy he was my coach in, uh, at ASU but he's the head coach here and, and you know he's going from one week to the next week to the next week coaching you know in Brazil so he's got me he's got Johnny Case he's got those guys you know and so uh, um, he's working with them extra in you know, outside of practice and everything, and so um, they realize that you know their the interest is is them, and we want the the best for them. Where you know in other places, a lot of times you they get caught up in, in you know it's not about the fighter, it's not about them, it's about the other people and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's not really kind of what you need around you. You know that's very important to to have the right people around you. So that's what we have, and uh, I think we're going to continue to grow this thing. But it's been great having them. Final question, Ryan, and uh, thank you very much for the time. Uh, l- let's look into the crystal ball here. L- we look at Houston. Uh, let's say you get your arm raised against Rashad Evans, and you are told by the UFC you are getting that title fight. Who do you feel you will be challenging for that title? Will it be Daniel Cormier or Alexander Gustafson? Uh, you never really know. Um, I've had my sights on uh, on Cormier, so I believe it's going to be Daniel Cormier. I believe he can use his wrestling to win this fight. Um, you know, that being said, these are two great top fighters in our division and anything can happen. And, uh, Gustin definitely has the skills to beat Cormier and vice versa. So, you know, that's why we go out there tune in to watch, but, uh, I'll be, I'll be, uh, you know, getting my victory and sitting down and, and definitely interested in that fight, watching that to seeing who I'm going to fight next for the title. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. It's UFC 192 coming up Saturday night, October the 3rd. Ryan Bader in action against former light heavyweight champion Rashad Evans. The light heavyweights will be on display on Saturday night. And we thank you very much for the time, Ryan, heading into fight week. And uh, we will be watching on the 3rd. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Great. Thanks, Ryan.